Next we have third grade, Leo Mitchell, escorting Miss Emma Katu. Mr. Kobe and Stewart Barrow escorting Macy Wall. We have fifth grade Bentley Lucas escorting Miss Anaya Country. Sixth grade attendees, Mr. Dustin Stanley, escorting Miss Yorda Neri Gomez.
Other sixth grade attendees, Ja'Cory Knox, escorting Miss Haley Pittman. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 Pike County Elementary School Homecoming King, Mr. Daniel Collins. And he's escorting the 19, 2021 Pike County Elementary School Homecoming Queen, Mr. Zaya Carlton. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big warm welcome to the Pike County Elementary School 2021 Homecoming Court. We'd like to thank Mr. Rodney Trish, along with Assistant Principal Miss Rochelle McKinney, along with fourth grade teacher Miss Rachel Everett. Our first 7th grade attendant 
is Ms. Yasmin Foster, escorted by Cadet Jamari Burney. Yasmin is the 12-year-old daughter of Kenesha Foster. Yasmin's favorite subject is science, and her favorite teacher is Ms. Young. Yasmin's favorite food is hot wings. Her hobbies include softball and being outside. Yasmin's future plans are to become a truck driver. If stranded on a deserted island, Yasmin says she would have to have food and water. Your first seventh grade attendant, Yasmin Foster. Our second seventh grade attendant is Trinity Thornton. Escorted by Cadet Braden Arnett. Trinity is the 12 year old daughter of Deshira Thornton. Trinity's favorite subject is science and her favorite teacher is Ms. Young. Trinity's favorite food is seafood and her favorite color is yellow. One person Trinity admires is Alyssa Howard because she talks a lot, she's very extra, and she smiles a lot. Trinity's favorite quote is, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Trinity's hobbies include talking on the phone, cheering, hanging out with friends, taking pictures, and decorating. If Trinity could go back in time and meet anyone in history, she would like to meet her great-grandmother, Lucia Thornton, because she has heard great things about her and how she was the backbone of her family. Trinity is a PCHS Junior Varsity Cheerleader. Seventh grade attendant, Trinity Thornton. Our first eighth grade attendant is Star Bryant, escorted by Cadet Jazarian Roman. Star is the 13-year-old daughter of Tyronda Utsi and Robert Bryant. Star's favorite subject is world history, and her favorite teacher is Miss Buckley. Star admires her mom because she has a strong work ethic. Star enjoys reading and cooking, and her favorite food is chicken alfredo. Her future plans include going to medical school at LSU to become a cardiologist. If she could go back in time and meet one person, it would be Madam C.J. Walker because she has set a strong example by becoming one of the first women to start and own, own her successful business. If stranded on a deserted island, Star says that she would have to have her bookshelf because reading would keep her from going insane. Eighth grade attendant, Star Bryant. Our second eighth grade attendant is Takedia Fuller, escorted by Cadet Hezekiah Ryan. Takedia is the 13-year-old daughter of Tyrone and Sharon Fuller. Her favorite subjects are math and world history, and her favorite teacher is Miss Buckley. Her favorite quote is, stay kind to others. She enjoys singing and playing clarinet and doodling. She plans to become a singer, singer and would like to own her own business. If she could meet anyone from the past, she would want to go back and meet Martin Luther King Jr. just to listen to his speeches in person because his words are wise and truthful. If stranded on a deserted island, the one thing she would have to have is her sketch pad so she could doodle to take away the boredom. Takedia plays the clarinet B-flat in the marching band. Our second eighth grade attendant, Takedia Fuller. Our first ninth grade attendant is Caitlin Jackson, escorted by Cadet Kobe Wallace. Caitlin is the 14 year old daughter of Deshira Thornton and James Jackson. Caitlin's favorite subject is history, and her favorite teachers are Miss Anderson Griffin and Miss Young. Caitlin's favorite food is any kind of hot wings, and her favorite colors are bright pink and neon orange. Caitlin says she admires Allison Felix because she is a track runner and she never stops pushing. Her favorite quotes are, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. And if you want to live a happy life, tie a goal to it, not to people or to things. Kayla's hobby includes eating, sleeping, watching track videos, and hanging out with friends. Kayla's future goals are to make it to the Olympics or the WNBA. Kayla is a PCHS varsity cheerleader as well as a member of the girls' basketball team and PCHS track team. Your first ninth grade attendant, Kaylin Jackson. Our second ninth grade attendant is Samaya Danielle Provet, escorted by Cadet Amari Barrow. Samaya is the 14 year old daughter of Tanikia Foster and Donnie Coleman. Samaya's favorite subjects are reading and English, and her favorite teacher is Ms. Neal. Samaya says she admires Miss Christine Wheeler because she always pushes me to be better and that the sky is the limit. 
Tamaya hopes to be just like her one day and to share her year's worth of knowledge with her equals. Tamaya's hobbies include listening to music and reading. Tamaya plans to become a therapist, therapist or a lawyer and retire as a school counselor. Tamaya said if she was stranded on a deserted island, the one thing she would have to have is the Bible so she could pray to God and keep her faith alive when all hope is lost. Tamaya is a member of the PCHS track team. Ninth grade attendant, Tamaya Proven. Our first 10th grade attendant is Avion Burney, escorted by Trevante Allison. Avion is the 15 year old daughter of Tyrell and Tanisha Burney. Her favorite subject is English. She likes to eat anything that can be made from potatoes. She admires her mom because she's a great role model and never gives up on anyone because she wouldn't let me give up on something I desired. She also always puts herself, puts others before herself. Her favorite quote is, all limitations are self-imposed. After high school, she plans to attend Georgia State and attain a degree in psychology and open her own practice. She enjoys painting, traveling, listening to music, drawing, and reading. Her extracurricular activities include softball, and if she could travel back in time, she would like to meet God and ask him what inspired him to create animals and humans to have different ways of communication. 10th grade attendant, Avion Burney. Our next 10th grade attendant is Amaya Townsend, escorted by Cadet Calvin Marshall. Amaya is the 15-year-old daughter of Alethea Moses and Fred Holland. Her favorite subject is math, and her favorite teacher is Dr. Golston. Her favorite food is French fries, and her favorite colors are gray and dark blue. One person Amaya admires most is her mom because she does so much for her. Amaya's favorite quote is, there's no mistakes, only opportunities. Her hobbies include walking her dogs, and in the future she would like to become a realtor, accountant, or cook. A stranded on a deserted island, Amaya says she would have to have food. Her extracurricular activities include softball, 10th grade attendant, Amaya Townsend. Our first 11th grade attendant is Tamaya Utsi, escorted by Cadet Patrick Thomas. Tamaya is the 16-year-old daughter of Tamika Utsi and Eddie Utsi. Her favorite subject is math and her favorite teacher is Miss Evans. She likes to eat hot wings and her favorite color is pink. Her favorite quote is, life has no limitations except for the ones you make. Her hobbies include singing and if deserted on a stranded island, if stranded on a deserted island, she would have to have her little sister because she can't live without her. She is a member of the volleyball team, FBLA, and is in the Business Finance Academy. 11th grade attendant, Tamaya Utsi. Our next 11th grade attendant is Takia Smith, escorted by Cadet Arion Burt Berry. Takia is the daughter of Mary and Stan Smith. Her favorite subject is science, and her favorite teacher is Miss Erica Shepherd. Her favorite food is lemon pepper, wings, and her favorite color is pink. Takia admires her auntie Latavia because she, of her hard work, dedication, and because she works hard in the medical field like I would like to someday. Takia enjoys playing softball and volleyball and shopping. She is a member of the PCH, PCHS softball and volleyball teams. Her future plans include attending UAB to earn her doctorate and become a nurse practitioner. Takia says she would have to have food if stranded on a deserted island because food is her fur lifer. 11th grade attendant, Takia Smith. Our first senior attendant is Ayanse Coleman, escorted by senior Kelman Glasgow. of Rachel Coleman and Joanne Berry. Her favorite subject is math and her favorite teacher is Sergeant Young. Beyonce admires her sister Victoria because she never gave up when time got hard and she's always motivated to be her best. Her favorite quote is, you've got three choices in life. Give up, give in, or give it all you've got. Beyonce plans to enter the military and become a pediatrician upon graduating. They're stranded on a deserted island. Beyonce would have to have her friends Shania, Jaquelman, and Alasia. Ayonce is a member of the PCHS volleyball team. Escorting Ayonce is senior attendant Jaquelman Glasgow. Jaquelman is the 17-year-old son of Tarnisha Burney. Jaquelman's favorite subject 
his math and his favorite teacher is Ms. Minton. His favorite food is Rotel dip. He admires his mom because she is hardworking. Jacobin's favorite quote is, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Jacobin's future plans include joining the military for aviation maintenance. Jacobin's hobbies include basketball, eating, video games, and TikTok. He is also a member of the PCHS football team and baseball team. Our first senior attendants, Beyonce Coleman and Jacobin Blasco. Our second female attendant is Katora Kelly, escorted by senior Charles Pittman. Katora is the 17-year-old daughter of Stephanie Kelly and James Kelly. Her favorite subject is English, and her favorite teachers are Ms. Kilpatrick, Ms. Minton, Sergeant Young, and Dr. Golston. Her favorite food is crawfish etouffee. She is a senior ambassador with the Pike County Chamber of Commerce and is a member of the Pike County Rotary Club. She admires her mom and dad because they are both hardworking, selfless, and loving. They are both hard workers that will never settle for less than greatness. They always make sure that she is okay physically and mentally. Katora enjoys cooking, doing hair, crafts, and taking care of her niece and nephew. In the future, Katora plans to attend the University of South Florida where she will further major in business and finance and matter, minor in entrepreneurship. After, she, after that, she plans to go to culinary and pastry chef school before she receives her certificate and opens her own bakery or restaurant. Our senior contestant, Katora Kelly. Escorting Katora is senior attendant Charles Pittman. Charles is the 17 year old son of Arnitra Cart and Joseph Cotton. His favorite subject is JRTC and his favorite teacher is Sergeant Young. Charles' favorite food is honey buns. Charles admires his parents because they inspire him to do better in life. His hobbies include spending money, shopping, and making clothes. Charles plans to enter the military and become a doctor, and he hopes to own his own office one day. If stranded on a deserted island, Charles would have to have a boat to get off the island, food, his phone, and his two life crew because he loves them. Our third senior female homecoming attendant okay. is Angel Terry, escorted by senior Shanton Redmond. Angel is a 17-year-old daughter of Carolyn Longmire. Angel's favorite subject is JRTC, and her favorite teachers are Sergeant Young and Major Morris. Angel's favorite food is seafood. Her hobbies include sports and binge watching Netflix. Angel plans to attend the University of Alabama to become a software engineer or to UAB to become an OBGYN. Angel says she would have to have her two best friends, Charles and Jano, and a frozen strawberry mango lemonade slush from Sonic if she was ever stranded on a deserted island. Angel's extracurricular activities include volleyball, basketball, track and field, business and finance academy, FBLA, senior ambassador, beta club, and upper family. Angel is being escorted by senior Shanton Teddy Redmond. He is a 17 year old daughter of Shanton Redmond and Alicia Swanson. Shanton's favorite subject is math, and his favorite teacher is Miss Gilmer. Shanton's favorite food is margarita chicken and pasta, and blue is his favorite color. Shanton admires his parents for supporting his goals and mental health. Shanton enjoys drawing, spending time with his friends and girlfriend, and he enjoys various nerdy activities. Shanton plans to go to college and double major in art and computer science. One thing Shanton would have to have if stranded on a deserted island is a sack of potatoes because they are used for food and can be planted. Shanton's extracurricular activities include soccer and art club. Senior attendants, Angel Terry, escorted by senior Shanton Redman. At this time, we would like to welcome back the 2020 Homecoming King and Queen, Kayla Foster and Briasia Cathy. They will be assisting Dr. Corbett in crowning the 2021 Homecoming King and Queen. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, senior attendants, please step forward.
our 2021 homecoming king is Mr. Charles Pittman. <laughs> Our 2021 homecoming queen is Miss Angel Terry. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating all of our attendants tonight. And congratulations again to our king and queen, Charles Stittman and Angel Terry. Don't settle for slow internet in 2020. Everything is quicker when you think Troy Cable. With our state-of-the-art internet network, you can upload and download large files quickly. You'll bid buffering farewell when you stream your favorite movies, TV shows, and music. Enjoy local, friendly, and knowledgeable customer service when you need help. When you think internet, think Troy Cable. Come join the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Blue Cross Blue Shield, 401k. Oh, 401k, we match it up to 4%. We have a dental plan. We rolling at Wiley Sandals Truck Lines. When these wheels roll, you make money. Drive for the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Roll now and rock later. 4% of your retirement. We match the gross pay by 4% at Wiley Sandals Truck Lines. Roll now and rock later. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines. Troy, Alabama. Sandy, you tell her. In the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle? We've got what you're looking for. So come see us at Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC in Troy, and you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC. There's a place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged. Fire and flavor come together and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Come and see us at Southern Grill and Patio just off the square in Troy. Neil, I tell you what, man, thank you so much for letting me drive your brand new man, I'm glad vehicle, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Deer! Yeah, Neil, we've been deer friends a long time. I know we're deer friends, but deer! Good googly go! Man, where did it go? Neil, oh, truck! Neil, I see a hoof. A hoof? Yeah. I ain't worried about the deer. I'm worried about my truck, man. Well, we can go to All-Star Collision. All-Star Collision on 231 North. Call them, 808-8822. Check out what Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply customers are saying. The best place for metal roofing materials. This company is amazing. Customer service was top notch. Best service in the industry. We've used them for years. Best place ever. The metal roofing headquarters in our area. Come see for yourself why customers choose Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply. Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply, your metal roofing headquarters. 
Our wide selection of pre-owned vehicles looks so good, you'll think they're new. So take the short drive to Bill Jackson Ford in Troy, where you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Ford, Troy, Alabama. Since 1959, the Commercial Bank of Ozark has been serving our community. It doesn't matter whether the times are good or bad, or if conditions are normal or different. The Commercial Bank of Ozark is here to serve you, your family, and your business. We make all our loan decisions locally, and we do it in a timely manner. Car, new home, home improvement, or business loans, the Commercial Bank of Ozark is here with the expertise and help for all your banking needs. Come join Wiley Sanders Truck Lines today. $1,000 sign on more. We match your 401k up to 4%. Blue Cross, Blue Shield. We also have a dental plan. You to be the next driver of the month. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. If you're a certified mechanic looking for a job, then come to Wiley Sanders Truck Line. That's right, Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We need good mechanics. Call John Smothers or Ken Bray for the maintenance department. You will have a future at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Wiley Sanders Truck Line has been in business since 1959, and we're steady getting bigger. I'm surrounded by new equipment. That's right, new equipment. Here's one that's ready to go at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We have Blue Cross Blue Shield. We have a 401k. We can match your 401k up to 4% of your gross pay. If these tires roll at Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, you make money. Ride the best, drive for the best. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. When you think Troy Cable, think of a world-class network. Think of friendly local customer support experts. Think of reliable internet, phone, television, and security for your home or business. Most importantly, think of a hometown company connecting its community. Think fast, think friendly, think Troy Cable. With a Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Get an incredible summer offer on a new Honda, only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. Southern Grill and Patio, just off the square in Troy. If you have $99, the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, pick out any pre-owned vehicle on our lot and pay just $99 down. Truckloads. Truck, truckloads. Truckloads of vehicles are arriving daily. Put $99 down and drive home any vehicle you want. Prices as low as $29.95. Over 20 price 10000 and less. Can't beat it. $99 down and the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Troy. Or shop us online anytime at PremierTroy.com. Don't settle for slow internet in 2020. Everything is quicker when you think Troy Cable. With our state-of-the-art internet network, you can upload and download large files quickly. You'll bid buffering farewell when you stream your favorite movies, TV shows, and music. Enjoy local, friendly, and knowledgeable customer service when you need help. When you think internet, think Troy Cable. Come join the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Blue Cross Blue Shield, 401k. Oh, 401k, we match it up to 4%. We have a dental plan. We rolling at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. When these wheels roll, you make money. Drive for the best today. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Roll now and rock later. 4% of your retirement. We match the gross pay by 4% at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Roll now. And rock later, Wiley Sanders Strut Lines, Troy, Alabama. Sandy, you tell her. In the market for a new or pre owned vehicle? We've got what you're looking for. So come see us at Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC in Troy, and you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC. There's a place 
but folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged. Fire and flavor come together, and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Come and see us at Southern Grill and Patio just off the square in Troy. Neil, I tell you what, man, thank you so much for letting me drive your brand new man, I'm glad vehicle, you, I'm man. Glad you nice. enjoy it. Deer! Yeah, Neil, we've been deer friends a long time. I know we're deer friends, but deer! Good googly go! Go. Neil, oh, truck. Neil, I see a hoof. A hoof? Yeah. I ain't worried about the deer. I'm worried about my truck, man. Well, we can go to All Star Collision. All Star Collision on 231 North. Call them 808 8822. Check out what Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply customers are saying. The best place for metal roofing materials. This company is amazing. Customer service was top notch. Best service in the industry. We've used them for years. Best place ever. The metal roofing headquarters in our area. Come see for yourself why customers choose Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply. Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply, your metal roofing headquarters. Our wide selection of pre-owned vehicles look so good, you'll think they're new. So take the short drive to Bill Jackson Ford in Troy, where you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Ford, Troy, Alabama. Since 1959, the Commercial Bank of Ozark has been serving our community. It doesn't matter whether the times are good or bad, or if conditions are normal or different. The Commercial Bank of Ozark is here to serve you, your family, and your business. We make all our loan decisions locally, and we do it in a timely manner. Car, new home, home improvement, or business loans, the Commercial Bank of Ozark is here with the expertise and help for all your banking needs. Come join Wiley Sanders Truck Lines today. $1,000 sign on more. We match your 401k up to 4%. Blue Cross, Blue Shield. We also have a dinner plan. You to be the next driver of the month. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. You're a certified mechanic looking for a job? Then come to Wiley Sanders Truck Line. That's right, Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We need good mechanics. Call John Smothers or Ken Bray for the maintenance department. You will have a future at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Wiley Sanders Truck Line has been in business since 1959, and we're steady getting bigger. I'm surrounded by new equipment. That's right, new equipment. And here's one that's ready to go at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We have Blue Cross, Blue Shield. We have a 401k. We can match your 401k up to 4% of your gross pay. If these tires roll at Wiley Sanders Truck Line, you make money. Ride the best, drive for the best. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. When you think Troy Cable, think of a world-class network. Think of friendly local customer support experts. Think of reliable internet, phone, television, and security for your home or business. Most importantly, think of a hometown company connecting its community. Think fast, think friendly, think Troy Cable. With a Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Get an incredible summer offer on a new Honda, only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. Come and see us at Southern Grill and Patio, just off the square in Troy. 
If you have $99, the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, pick out any pre-owned vehicle on our lot and pay just $99 down. Truckloads. Truck, truckloads. Truckloads of vehicles are arriving daily. Put $99 down and drive home any vehicle you want. Prices as low as $29.95. Over $20, price $10,000 and less. Can't beat it. $99 down and the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Troy. Or shop us online anytime at PremierTroy.com. Don't settle for slow internet in 2020. Everything is quicker when you think Troy Cable. With our state-of-the-art internet network, you can upload and download large files quickly. You'll bid buffering farewell when you stream your favorite movies, TV shows, and music. Enjoy local, friendly, and knowledgeable customer service when you need help. When you think internet, think Troy Cable. Come join the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Blue Cross Blue Shield, 401k. Oh, 401k, we match it up to 4%. We have a dental plan. We rolling at Wiley Sandals Truck Lines. When these wheels roll, you make money. Drive for the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Roll now and rock later. 4% of your retirement. We match the gross pay by 4% at Wiley Sandals Truck Lines. Roll now. And rock later, Wiley Sandals Strut Lines, Troy, Alabama. Sandy, you tell her. In the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, we've got what you're looking for. So come see us at Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC in Troy, and you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC. There's a place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged. Fire and flavor come together, and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Come and see us at Southern Grill and Patio, just off the square in Troy. Neil, I tell you what, man, thank you so much for letting me drive your brand new man, I'm glad vehicle, man. I'm glad you enjoy it. Deer! Yeah, Neil, we've been deer friends a long time. I know we're deer friends, but deer! Good googly go! Hey, where did it go? Neil, my truck! Neil, I see a hoof. A hoof? Yeah. I ain't worried about the deer. I'm worried about my truck, man. Well, we can go to All-Star Collision. All-Star Collision on 231 North. Call them, 808-8822. Check out what Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply customers are saying. The best place for metal roofing materials. This company is amazing. Customer service was top notch. Best service in the industry. We've used them for years. Best place ever. The metal roofing headquarters in our area. Come see for yourself why customers choose Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply. Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply, your metal roofing headquarters. Our wide selection of pre-owned vehicles look so good, you'll think they're new. So take the short drive to Bill Jackson Ford in Troy, where you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Ford, Troy, Alabama. Since 1959, the Commercial Bank of Ozark has been serving our community. It doesn't matter whether the times are good or bad, or if conditions are normal or different, the Commercial Bank of Ozark is here to serve you, your family, and your business. We make all our loan decisions locally, and we do it in a timely manner. Car, new home, home improvement, or business loans, the Commercial Bank of Ozark is here with the expertise and help for all your banking needs. Come join Wiley Sanders Truck Lines today. $1,000 sign on more. We match your 401k up to 4%. Blue Cross, Blue Shield. We also have a dental plan. You could be the next driver of the month. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. If you're a certified mechanic looking for a job, then come to Wiley Sanders Truck Line. That's right, Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We need good mechanics. Call John Smothers or Ken Bray for the maintenance department. You will have a future at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Wiley Sanders Truck Line has been in business since 1959, and we're steady getting bigger. I'm surrounded by new equipment. That's right, new equipment. And here's one that's ready to go at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We have Blue Cross Blue Shield. We have a 401k. We can match your 401k up to 4% of your gross pay. If these tires roll at Wiley Sanders Truck Line, you make money. Ride the best, drive for the best. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. 
When you think Troy Cable, think of a world-class network. Think of friendly local customer support experts. Think of reliable internet, phone, television, and security for your home or business. Most importantly, think of a hometown company connecting its community. Think fast. Think friendly. Think Troy Cable. With a Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Get an incredible summer offer on a new Honda, only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. Come and see us at Southern Grill and Patio, just off the square in Troy. If you have $99, the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, pick out any pre-owned vehicle on our lot and pay just $99 down. Truckloads. Truck truckloads. Truckloads of vehicles are arriving daily. Put $99 down and drive home any vehicle you want. Prices as low as $29.95. Over $20, price $10,000 and less. Can't beat it. $99 down and the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Troy. Or shop us online anytime at PremierTroy.com. Don't settle for slow internet in 2020. Everything is quicker when you think Troy Cable. With our state-of-the-art internet network, you can upload and download large files quickly. You'll bid buffering farewell when you stream your favorite movies, TV shows, and music. Enjoy local, friendly, and knowledgeable customer service when you need help. When you think internet, think Troy Cable. Come join the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Blue Cross Blue Shield, 401k. Oh, 401k, we match it up to 4%. We have a dental plan. We rolling at Wiley Sandals Truck Line. When these wheels roll, you make money. Drive for the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Roll now and rock later. 4% of your retirement. We match the gross pay by 4% at Wiley Sandals Truck Line. Roll now. And rock later, Wiley Sandal Strut Lines, Troy, Alabama. Sandy, you tell them. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bulldog Stadium, where we are live for the homecoming of Pike County High School versus Goshen. Two winless teams battling it out here tonight on the Friday Night Blitz. I'm your host, Bulldog Johnny, and we'll be getting the captains for each team coming up. Thank you to all the parents and patrons for our new breakthrough sound. For Goshen, it looks like number 12, Peyton Stamey, number 10. Their, their numbers aren't in order, so y'all have to give me a few minutes. Isaac McKinney, number 56. Marquavius Coleman, and number 7. Andrew Galloway are the captains for the Bull, for the UG Eagles. The uh, captains for Pike County are the entire senior class, but only they'll have several. We'll, we'll just name the ones that's the uh, on the field that come out on the field. Number seventy-five, Number seventy-seven, Michael Cook. Number 65, Zachary Arnold. And number 50, Jamarian Johnson. We're waiting to see who Pike County's going to have with their captains, and we'll read those off to you as they come out. The entire senior class for Pike County is going out. Number one, Janoris King. 
and number four, Kentavious Thomas, another senior, are the two captains that are going out for Pike County. The rest of the captains are number 65, Zach Arnold, number 77, Michael Cooks, number 66, Alex Lewis, number 20, Jaquelman Glasgow, who will be starting at quarterback tonight, number 75, Paxton Flowers, and number 58, Jamarian Johnson. Number 50, Jamarian Johnson, excuse me. Where I came up with 58, I have no unearthly idea. We'll have all score updates, too, when, when, when I have them on my score stream app, y'all, those that are watching. As I said in the in the before the thing the game started, two winless teams go at it here tonight. Somebody's going to get their first win. Who's it going to be? We don't know. Pike County won and will defer their kickoff to the second half. Goshen will receive and defend the north end zone, while Pike County will kick and defend the south end zone. So we're just about set for action here tonight. It's a beautiful night for football, ladies and gentlemen. Wouldn't you agree? Those of y'all, we're on Facebook, Troy Cable Channel 2, and on YouTube, on Studio 52 Productions on YouTube as well. The alum, we got alumni cheerleaders here tonight that are being recognized from years from years past. This is a class 3A region 4 ball game. And here come the Bulldogs. And here come the Eagles of Goshen High School. We are just about set for kickoff here, ladies and gentlemen, at Homecoming 2021, Pike County High School. Welcome to the Premier League Board of the Stadium, where tonight the Pike County High School will play host to the Ghost Eagles and the first annual Gazelle Bowl. Back to receive, this is the first annual Bazell Bowl. They just said it on the PA announcer, Mr. Henry Everett. Back to receive for Goshen is number 24, Cadavian Bristow, number 13. Zameric Andrews. These numbers are not in alphabetical order, so y'all have to bear with me when I call out these names. And kicking for the Bulldogs is number one, Janaris King. We hope y'all are enjoying your evening tonight, whatever y'all are doing to join us for this Friday Night Blitz broadcast. Here we go. We have a stoppage for a moment. Goshen, the Goshen backs are not are not too far back. They may be expect, they're expecting uh, to be a short kick here.
We're waiting for the kickoff here. I don't know if somebody is lined up wrong or something, but they're they're taking their sweet time about it, whatever it is. And here we go. And it's off, and it's a good end over end kick. And number 24 has it. And he's going to take it, and he's going to be brought down around the 26-yard line. Number 24, that is Cadavian Bristow is the man that made the return there. Number seven, Antonio Patterson with the stop for the Bulldogs bring up first and 10 Goshen at their own 26 yard line. Stamey in at quarterback here. Looks like Bristow in the backfield with him. Two receivers top. And we've got an offsides on Zach Arnold, who is going to. And he's going to drop and do push-ups, ladies and gentlemen, for jumping offsides. That is the first time I've ever seen that in an actual ball game. Five-yard penalty. Beats the 31-yard line. I'll have to give Mr. Arnold credit for that. All right, Goshen now coming out. Hands it off. It's number 13, and he's got a hole, and he's going to pick up a first down. That is Zamerick Andrews. And he picks up a first down for the Eagles to the 43-yard line here. Stamey hands it to Andrews. No, Stamey keeps it. And he's going to be brought down by Jaquelman. Glasgow fumble. Fumble on the play. And it is Bulldog football. Jaquelman Glasgow with the stop there. He's sacked. He hit the quarterback. So that means he's the one call. He calls the fumble, and the Bulldogs will take over at the Goshen 44 yard line. We're going to have Jaquelman Glasgow in at quarterback here, a tight eye formation here. Ben Patterson to the bottom of your screen here. Toss play, Kentavious Thomas, and he could go all the way. Touchdown, Pike County Bulldogs. Untouched, 41 yards to the house, and Kentavious Thomas on the first play from scrimmage busts it up the middle for a touchdown. I've heard, I've been saying all week this was going to be a low-scoring game, but I think I might, I might, I might have shot myself in the foot talking about this. Being a low-scoring game, Josiah Richburg is back to attempt the extra point here. Here's a snap. Kick is up, and he nails it. The seventh grader nails it with 10:35 to play. First quarter. Your score is Pike County seven and Goshen Zero. We'll be right back with a commercial break on the Friday Night Blitz. In the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle? We've got what you're looking for. So come see us at Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC in Troy, and you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC. There's a place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged, fire and flavor come together, and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Come and see us at Southern Grill and Patio just off the square in Troy. 
and we're back here at Bulldog Stadium where the Pike County Bulldogs has just scored on their first play from scrimmage with 10.35, not even a minute and 50, 20 seconds off the clock, and they put the ball in the end zone. Number 24, Bristow and Andrews are back to receive here. King ready to punt it to kick it again here. He got a good kick off the first time. Let's see if he gets a good one this second time around here. And he's kicking it towards Bristow, and Bristow catches it, and there he goes. Oh, and he is leveled by number two, Kentavian Carter just lowered the boom on him, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to tell y'all, ladies and gentlemen, I took some hits like that back in the day. I took some hits like that back in the day, and boy, let me tell you, it's a, it was rough, boy. Woo. I got my lights knocked out like that, like that a couple times, so I'll admit it. And you won't never hear me admit stuff on the broadcast like this, but I will admit that. Stamey in the backfield in the shotgun set along with Bristol, along with Andrews, excuse me. Hands it off to Andrews. Andrews, American Andrews has it, and he's up the middle. Picks up a couple on that play. And it looks like number 66 for Pike County, which is Alex Lewis, the, one of the seniors with the tackle. Trips for Goshen here. And Jaquelman Glasgow's going to jump offside now, and that's going to give Goshen a free five yards and make the first down that just a little closer here. All right, here we go. They're coming out once again now. Hands it off. Andrews comes back, cuts back around the right side, and he's going to be tackled and get a big first down out of it. Almost to the midfield, probably about 40 to 47 yard line. First and 10, Goshen at their own. 47 yard line here. So neither team backing out, backing down right here. This is like a heavyweight boxing match between these two right here. One will get a first down, the other one will get a first down. Let's see what they do here now. Stamey is not in the back, is not in the backfield. He's lining up in, in, in the slot here. And it's going to be number five. He's coming around the right side. There's a flag on the play, and he's going to get the first down. That is Sam, no, number five. Tyler McClendon. There's a flag down on the play, though. Janaris King was the one that made the tackle. Let's see what the flag is here. Holding against Goshen. That's going to be a 10-yard step off, and they're going to back it up 10 yards. Goshen shooting themselves in the foot already here. Like I said, when we get score updates, we will update you guys on the scores when we get them. First and very long for Goshen here. Third and 20 for the Goshen Eagles here. Stamey in the shotgun once again now. Hands it off to, no, he throws it. Number seven gets past one, gets past two, and he's going to be brought down by Glasgow, but he gets back all some of that that he lost. Andrew Galloway was the man that, with the catch there. He was running a little bootleg route. That's going to bring up second down, excuse me, for the Eagles. They're into Pike County territory at the Pike County 47 here. Stamey gets the snap, hands it to Andrews. Andrews finds a hole, trying to find a hole, and he gets...
and he's going to get a few yards. He's almost back to the original. Going to get a first down for Goshen here. Samaric Andrews, the running back, number 13 for Goshen here. Now they're going to split him wide to the outside here. Going to split Gallup, I meant Stamey out to the side, to the right side here. It looks like five. McClendon's going to be in at quarterback. Go with a speed sweep. No, quarterback keeper. And McClendon gets it. And he is not going to get much. Tackled by number two, Kentavian Carter. A freshman, ladies and gentlemen. Quarterback, all right, trips to the bottom of your screen here for Goshen. Pistol set. Stay me in the pistol here. Doing a hard count, trying to get the guys to jump offside here. Now they change it to a shotgun set. Here's the snap. Stamey has a lot of time. Throws it. Wide open. And incomplete. And he almost caught that. Number seven, Andrew Galloway. It, he tipped it around a few minutes, but then when he went down, he could not cradle it. So it's going to be third down for Goshen. Holding against Goshen on that play. There was a flag. And it seems like every time Goshen gets momentum, it just throws them. It throws uh, them off guard. They 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 get momentum, then they lose it by a flag. Seems like a common trend. And now they're at the halfway point of the field, the 50-yard line, the midfield stripe, as we like to call it. Good big crowd here tonight for Pike County, even though it is homecoming here at Pike County High School. So. Pike County's only run one offensive play, and that was a 41-yard touchdown by Contavious Thomas. Stamey in the shotgun. Here comes Andrews. Fakes it. Throws. Way over his head. And, oh, Contavious Thomas almost had an interception there. He was looking for number 10, Isaac McKinney. He was looking for him, but he could not. And... Kentavious Thomas was mad with himself because, boy, he almost had an interception right there. Third down and very long for the Eagles here. Third down, trips to the top of your screen here. Shotgun set. Stamey, back to pass, throwing deep. He's got him open, and he's got it. Touchdown, Goshen, number five, Samuel Adams on a, on a huge 50-yard touchdown pass. And ladies and gentlemen, we are just a few seconds away from having a tie ball game and we're not even at the halfway point of the first quarter. What a pretty pass by Andrew Galloway right there. Broken coverage and Samuel Adams catches it. Actually, correction, that was number five, Tyler McClendon that caught that ball. And Goshen looks like they're gonna go for two here. Here's a snap, running it. Little little reverse. Can he get it? Fumbo. He tried to throw it to number five on a. There's a flag down though, so we'll see what this is about. They tried some little wrinkle play, or as I as we like to call it, trick plays. It was almost like the old school version of the Pike County Polecat, so to speak, where you line all the line linemen up to one side and then try a, a fake a, a fake. Legal procedure against Eek Goshen. And the penalties decline. So there with 6-10 to go in the first quarter. It's Pike County 7, Goshen 6. We'll be right back on the Friday Night Blitz. This place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged. 
fire and flavor come together, and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Come and see us at Southern Grill and Patio just off the square in Troy. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, here at Bulldog Stadium for homecoming. A couple of, while they're getting ready to reset the ball for the extra point, Trinity leads Dadeville 7-0. Beulah in Realtown is 14-0 with a Beulah leading, with a real town leading that, excuse me. Now they're going to have number 12. Looks like Stamey going to attempt the extra point here. Kick is up. And he not it. He got it with 6-10 to play in the first quarter. It's tied at 7. We'll take a short commercial and be right back. Neil, I tell you what, man, thank you so much for letting me drive your brand new man, I'm glad, vehicle, man. I'm glad it's you nice. enjoy it. Deer! Yeah, Neil, we've been deer friends a long time. I know we're deer friends, but deer! Good, good, let go! Man, where did it go? Neil, oh, truck! Neil, I see a hoof. A hoof? Yeah. I'm worried about the deer. I'm worried about my truck, man. Well, we can go to All-Star Collision. All-Star Collision on 231 North. Call them, 808-8822. Check out what Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply customers are saying. The best place for metal roofing materials. This company is amazing. Customer service was top notch. Best service in the industry. We've used them for years. Best place ever. The metal roofing headquarters in our area. Come see for yourself why customers choose Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply. Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply, your metal roofing headquarters. We're back at Pike County High School with Goshen just scoring on a big 50-yard touchdown pass from Stamey to McClendon. King, number one, back to receive, and number four, Kentavious Thomas. Elba leads Abbeville six to nothing, and that's a quick score update that we have right, right now. We'll get more to you as they come along. And Stamey kicks it, and it's a little squib kick, and it's going to go out of bounds, and that's going to be an illegal procedure against the Eagles here. Stamey, a left-footed kicker here, and that's going to bring up first and 10, Pike County. And I think it's going to be at their own 45-yard line. We'll have to wait and see first where they spot this. I always thought it was the 40-yard line they spotted at, but it's the 45, I think. Bulldogs will start at their own 40-yard line. Okay, that, that's what I was thinking. Hope you guys are enjoying this broadcast here tonight. As I said, my name is Bulldog Johnny, and I'm with you to the, for the long haul in this game. Glasgow in at quarterback now. Thomas in the backfield here. Patterson down to the, butt, to the bottom of your screen in the tight eye formation here. Hand toss play out to Thomas. Thomas gets past one, but he's not going to get past that second blocker. That would be number 5-0, oh, the big number 50. Gavin Davis with the tackle there. Maybe a yard or, or an inch or two. He got a yard. Second down and nine for the Bulldogs here. And I figured they was going. They was, that was the same exact play they scored with the first time. So let's see what they do here now. Glasgow, a toss to the left side, and there goes Thomas around the left side, and if he can get past, his, past McClendon, he may have it. He may have it, and he's going to pick up a huge first down, a big run for Kentavious Thomas, and he's going to be down in, way down inside Goshen territory about the uh, 25-yard line. homecoming tonight here at Pike County, and I'm telling you, this Pike County team has got a little bit more fire to it tonight. I guess it's because it's homecoming. They got a little bit more fire, and there's a timeout called. So we'll take it with them. With 5.22 to go, we're all tied at 7. We'll be right back. Our wide selection of pre-owned vehicles looks so good, you'll think they're new. 
So take the short drive to Bill Jackson Ford in Troy, where you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Ford, Troy, Alabama. Since 1959, the Commercial Bank of Ozark has been serving our community. It doesn't matter whether the times are good or bad, or if conditions are normal or different. The Commercial Bank of Ozark is here to serve you, your family, and your business. We make all our loan decisions locally, and we do it in a timely manner. Car, new home, home improvement, or business loans, the Commercial Bank of Ozark is here with the expertise and help for all your banking needs. And we're back here with the timeout being over with. The teams, the teams have talked it over with their coaches, and now they're ready to get back to action here. We got a stacked tight end set here now. Now we got moving to the other, moving to the other side. Here's the snap. Oh, and he trips him up right at the line of scrimmage. That's number 13. Zamerick Andrews, he jumped in midair and caught Contavious Thomas by the knee and dropped him for a loss of a yard. Going to bring up second down for the Bulldogs here. Glasgow going back in here. Lining up in the tight eye formation once again here is Glasgow. Straight hand off to Thomas, and Thomas lowers the head, but he's going to be tackled by a host of Goshen players, and starting with that would be number six, Samuel Adams, with the tackle. Play's going to be third down, and it's back to the original line of scrimmage here. Third down and nine for the Bulldogs here. Coming out in a tight eye formation again. This time hands it off to Thomas again. And this time Thomas lowers and gets a, a few more yards. That's still going to bring up third down for the Bulldogs here. Third and fourth down and manageable. Probably about five, long five on, the, on that play there. And Pike County will go for this. Brantley leads Georgiana 14 to nothing. We have a timeout. Pike County with 3.20 left to go in the first quarter. We're all, squ all square at 7. We'll be right back on the Friday Night Blitz. Come join Wiley Sanders Truck Lines today. $1,000 sign on more. We match your 401k up to 4%. Blue Cross, Blue Shield. We also have a dental plan. You to be the next driver of the month. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Are you a certified mechanic looking for a job? Then come to Wiley Sanders Truck Line. That's right, Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We need good mechanics. Call John Smothers or Ken Bray for the maintenance department. You will have a future at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Wiley Sanders Truck Line has been in business since 1959, and we're steady getting bigger. I'm surrounded by new equipment. That's right, new equipment. And here's one that's ready to go at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We have Blue Cross, Blue Shield. We have a 401k. We can match your 401k up to 4% of your gross pay. If these tires roll at Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, you make money. Ride the best, drive for the best. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. And we are back here. Pike County has it fourth down and about five yards at their own at the Goshen. 18-yard line. Here's a snap. Hands it. Throw, tosses it to Thomas. Thomas has got an opening, and he's going to be brought down. Fumble. They're going to say he, he was down, though, by down by the contact on the ground, and that's going to pick up. That's going to be first and goal, Pike County, and it looks like at the two, maybe three-yard line. I can't really tell from here where the referee's spotting that at. Looks like the two first at the two-yard line. So 
Let's see what they do here now. They've put Patterson to the top of your screen. Tight eye formation again this time. And Glasgow powering his way. Did he get it? No, he didn't. No, he did not. It'll be second down on the quarterback sneak was Glasgow, and he's going to pick up one. Play be second and goal at the one-yard line here. He's at the one-foot line, as a matter of fact. I wouldn't be surprised if he done it if he done that one more time. And there he goes. And Jaquelman Glasgow is in. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And now on to attempt the extra point will be the seventh grader, Josiah Richburg, who made his first extra point. And this guy has a lot of passion when he plays, ladies and gentlemen. I know Coach Holland was talking on the coaches show on Wednesday night about how this guy is, is got a lot of fire in him and he's gonna be a good one for Pike County. Here's the snap. Kick is up and it's gonna be no good here. He did not get a good kick on that one. So with 2.03 to play, your score is Pike County 13 and Goshen 7. We're going to take a short commercial break on the Friday Night Blitz, and we'll be right back. Wiley Sanders Truck Line has been in business since 1959, and we're steady getting bigger. I'm surrounded by new equipment. That's right, new equipment. And here's one that's ready to go at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We have blue power, blue shield. We have a 401k. We can match your 401k up to 4% of your gross pay. If these tires roll at Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, you make money. Ride the best, drive for the best. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. When you think Troy Cable, think of a world-class network. Think of friendly local customer support experts. Think of reliable internet, phone, television, and security for your home or business. Most importantly, think of a hometown company connecting its community. Think fast. Think friendly. Think Troy Cable. And we're back here. Janoris King ready to kick off here. And he gets another good kick straight down the middle here. And it's going to roll. And number five, McClendon has it. Picks it up around the tent, around the five. And he's going to be brought down around the 17-yard line here. So he start for Goshen at their own 17. And now let's see if the Goshen Bull, uh, Eagles, excuse me, can answer the Pike County Bulldogs with, another, with, with a score of their own. The snap, hands it off to Andrews. Andrews coming around the right side. And he's going to be brought down by number 21, Jabari Boyd. But he's got his first down. Zamiric Andrews with the run there. And I hate, and I hate to uh, have to look for these guys because their rosters is not in, you know, what you would say, numerical order so you had y'all had y'all had to be patient with me, with me trying to find the player that's that's made the made the play 30 yard line first and 10 on a 13 yard run there by Andrews spreading it out again this time here looks like a little offset wing shotgun set here now the tight end goes in motion and there's a McClendon at quarterback and he's going to take it and he's going to pick up five yards, number 20, Jaquelman Glasgow, with the stop out of bounds. It's going to be second and, and half to go for Goshen here. Second and five. Second and four, excuse me. They got it at 36. They said he went out at 36, so it'll be second and four. 
Kentavious Thomas playing deep here as a deep safety around the round midfield here. Pistol set once again here. Like offset pistol, oh, a wing offset pistol here. Stamey to pass. Little screen pass here, number 24. He got the first down and more. And he's going to be brought down around 49-yard line. That is Cadavian Bristow on a little screen pass. And we're going to have a timeout. And that's the end of your first quarter. Will your score, Pike County 13, Goshen 7. We'll be right back after a commercial break on the Friday Night Blitz. When you think Troy Cable, think of a world-class network. Think of friendly local customer support experts. Think of reliable internet, phone, television, and security for your home or business. Most importantly, think of a hometown company connecting its community. Think fast, think friendly, think Troy Cable. With a Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Get an incredible summer offer on a new Honda, only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. And we are back here to start the second quarter here. Pike County leading 13-7. And Goshen was making the drive here. So let's see if we got any score updates thus far. Brantley 21-0 on Georgiana. So we're at midfield here. First and 10 for Goshen. Shotgun set, but too wide to the bottom of your screen. And Stamey, Andrews. And Andrews gonna get about seven yards, maybe eight on that play. Zamerick Andrews. A ninth grader, ladies and gentlemen. These two teams, I did not state this in the when we before we started the game but right now while we have a break I want to just tell y'all that these two teams have a lot of seventh and eighth graders playing on their team and ninth graders too these are two young ball clubs but give them a few more years when they get up to be sophomores juniors and seniors and they'll be really good McClendon now in the backfield they put at the slot receiver set they put Andrews here. Here's a snap. Halfback pass to the outside. And it's McClendon. And he lowers the shoulder and gets the first down. Tyler McClendon on a little, like what was a halfback swing route just about. Look, that's what it looked like. It wasn't a screen because he didn't stop. And then Jay, he just he kept running. So it was like a, like a swing route. Or as I like to call a wheel route. It was a wheel route, swing route. They're about the same, so. We just call it a swing route, so it's ball is on the Pike County 39-yard line. Goshen threatening here. Let's see if they can score right here. Andrews now in the backfield with Stamey here. And Peyton Stamey hands it off. And it's Andrews, and Andrews fighting his way, and he's going to get about eight yards here. Brings up second and about four, looks like. Four or a long five here for the Eagles. Ball at the Pike County, 37 here. Stamey now in the backfield. He was, he was up on the line of scrimmage, and Stamey's going to quarterback keeper. Flag down on the play, and he's going to pick up almost close to first down yardage. It'll be about third and one according to what the penalty is here. If the penalty is on Goshen, that's going to back them up. And if it's on Pike County, it could very well give Goshen a first down. They're discussing it here. Let's see what the referee comes out with here. 
holding on Goshen. That's going to be a 10 yard step on step off and they're going to have be instead of second and five or four like it was going to be second and 14 now at the Pike County 42 yard line here. Shotgun set again, this time and Andrews has it. Andrews up the middle. And he's gonna pick it up back to where the original line of scrimmage was when they started the drive. It's gonna be third and about 10 yards here. And I would not be surprised if Goshen goes to the air right here on this particular play here. Because Goshen can, has proven they can throw it, as you've seen on that first touchdown pass that they throwed. You got King and, and Thomas playing as two, the, the two deep safeties here to try to prevent the long pass. You got three wide outs, two wide outs to the bottom of your screen. Here's Stamey. He drops back. He throws it over the head of... Kentavian Carter almost could have caught that interception. He would have been going with that, but it was intended for Tyler McClendon, and that's going to bring up fourth down, and I'm pretty sure Goshen right here would, would punt the ball away right here. Here's a snap, and it's a good high up kick here. Taking a bounce, and Thomas is going to let it bounce, and he's going to be out of bounds around the two, three yard line. Number seven was the kicker, Andrew Galloway was the punter on that play, excuse me. Pike County will start deep in their own territory. First and goal, first and 10, excuse me, at the, at the five, at the two-yard two line. Elba 27, nothing over Abbeville. Make that 28, nothing over Abbeville here. Now they line up the tight eye formation again this time here. Hands it off, and he's going to get nothing on that. He gets stuffed right as he goes to run it. it was Contavious Thomas. Play does not, does not gain. It's going to bring up second down and 10 here. Trinity leads 21 nothing over of their opponent. Luverne leads Francis Marion 26 to nothing. Enterprise and Smith Station is an Enterprise 28 to seven in that game. Charles Henderson won their first game last night with a 40 to seven victory over Rehoboth. Tight eye formation again this time. Now you got Richburg down at the bottom of your screen. They hand it off to King and King is gonna be sacked for a safety. A safety. Wait a minute, no, they're, they're going to call him down at the one. They're going to call him down at the, high, at the at the one foot line here. Third and goal, third and third down in, for Pike County here, excuse me. I don't know why I keep saying third and goal. I think I keep thinking Goshen got the ball. Pike County deep in their own territory. And now they're bringing Josiah Richburg to the right, out to the bottom of your screen again in the tight eye formation. Glasgow trying to come up the middle with it, and he's going to fight his way off, fight for yardage. And he's still pushing, and he's going to get about half of that back, but they're going to have to be forced to punt it right here on a fourth down.
Back to receive for Goshen is two guys, number seven, that is Galloway, and it looks like number five, Tyler McClendon, is back to receive as well here. Nor Janaris King back to punt here. Here's the kick. Good kick here, and it's going to get back there to McClendon. He catches it, and he's going to run with it, and he's cutting, his, cutting back, and he's going to be brought down around the 28-yard line here, so it's first and 10 Goshen at the 28. The Eagles will start first and 10 at their own 28, at the Pike County 28, excuse me. Six fourteen to play till halftime, and we you will get to enjoy two good halftime bands, the Goshen Band and the Pride of Pike Marching Band here. Here we go now. Goshen coming out now. Shotgun set again this time here. Stamey and Andrews in the backfield. Stamey gets it, hands it to Andrews. Andrews is going to be brought down on right quick like by number 77, Michael Cooks, the senior. Next week is senior night for all of you that are watching this broadcast for Pike County High School next week. They, it would be a senior night. They'll be hosting the Childersburg Tigers from Childersburg, Alabama, the last region game of the season. No, the second to last region game of the season. Here's, here's the handoff, Andrews, and he's got a hole up the middle, and he is going to score a touchdown, Goshen. My gracious, busted coverage there, and Zamaric Andrews takes it up the middle for a touchdown, Goshen. And now Goshen will attempt the extra point and will give and would give them the lead with, a, with the extra point here. Two evenly matched teams here going at each other. The first annual Bazell Bowl, as they, as, they, as, they, as they are referring to this as. McClendon's going to line up. They're going to do that trickery play again, looks like. Goshen's going to call timeout, and we'll take one with them. 5.27 to go. The point after touchdown will be right back on the Friday Night Blitz. Come and see us at Southern Grill and Patio just off the square in Troy. If you have $99, the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, pick out any pre-owned vehicle on our lot and pay just $99 down. Truckloads. Truck, truckloads. Truckloads of vehicles are arriving daily. Put $99 down and drive home any vehicle you want. Prices as low as $29.95. Over $20, price $10,000 and less. Can't beat it. $99 down and the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Troy. Or shop us online anytime at PremierTroy.com. And we are back here live at Bulldog Stadium where Goshen just scored on a big run run play from Samaric Andrews to take to tie the game up and now they're going to go for the two point conversion here. And it looks like Andrew Galloway is going to take it. He's going to follow in behind his blockers and he's going to have his two point conversion. It is good. 527 to play until the half and Goshen leads 15-13. We'll take another short break and be right back. If you have $99, the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, pick out any pre-owned vehicle on our lot and pay just $99 down. Truckloads. Truckloads. Truckloads of vehicles are arriving daily. Put $99 down and drive home any vehicle you want. Prices as low as $29.95. Over $20, price $10,000 and less. Can't beat it. $99 down and the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Troy. Or shop us online anytime at PremierTroy.com. Don't settle for slow internet in 2020. 
Everything is quicker when you think Troy Cable. With our state-of-the-art internet network, you can upload and download large files quickly. You'll bid buffering farewell when you stream your favorite movies, TV shows, and music. Enjoy local, friendly, and knowledgeable customer service when you need help. When you think internet, think Troy Cable. And we're back here at Bulldog Stadium where Goshen just took a two-point lead over Pike County with a 15-13 Score 527 to go till halftime. You will see the pride of the purple and gold and the pride of Pike marching band at halftime here. Stamey to a kick. King and Thomas back to receive along with Glasgow. And it's another up line drive kick to Kelvin. Glasgow catches it. And there he goes. There he goes. Down around the 46 yard line is where he's going to be brought down. So Pike County will start good field position for the Bulldogs. Now let's see if they can answer Goshen with a score here. Pike County got into a, to a, bit of, a little bit of trouble to start with with, uh, with uh, getting into a little bit of trouble when they got down around the goal line and almost give up a safety. First and 10 at the 45. They put it at the 45, excuse me, not the 46. So it's a 45 yard line. It's first and 10 for Pike County. Here we go. Now they're going to spread it out here a little bit here. King in the backfield. King's the quarterback here. And uh, Contavian Carter with him. They're going to spread it out. Screen pass to Contavious Thomas. He catches it. And he is not going to get anything. He's going to lose a big yardage there. And on the tackle for Goshen is big number 75, Lance Tillery, a junior, with a, with a stop there. They spread it out. Pike County did. It went for the screen play, but did not, but come up short. So it's going to be second and very long for the Bulldogs here. I think Pike County is realizing now that, it, that instead of running it the whole game, they're going to have to try to at least pass it if they're going to have success. They're lining up the tight eye formation again this time. Thomas in the backfield. Richburg to the bottom of your screen. Hands it off to Thomas. They overloaded the left side. Flag down on the play. And Thomas is going to get almost a lot of that back, but there's a flag down on the play. Flag around the 39-yard line. 422 to play until halftime. Holding against the Bulldogs, and that's going to be a 10-yard step off, so it's going to be second and very long here. Let's say second and super and super long, so to speak, for the offense here. Second down and very long for the Bulldogs here. Tight eye formation again. Patterson to the bottom of your screen. Looks like they're overloading the right side here. Toss play out to Thomas again, and this time Thomas has got a hole up the middle. And if he can get past this one, he might have it, and he's going to get almost back to the 48-yard line. That's going to bring up third down. He got a lot of that back. He got about 15 yards of that back that he lost. Third and about seven to go for the Bulldogs here to get a first down. They still got three minutes and count and 33 seconds and counting to go till halftime. They can score. They just don't need to try to speed themselves up and cause a mistake. Now another, another toss play again here. He almost lost his foot, and he's not going to get he's not going to get started. He might got a, a yard if that was Kentavious Thomas, and that's going to bring up fourth down for the Bulldogs here.
And Janoris King back to punt here. Tyler McClendon back to receive the punt. And he gets a good kick here. And McClendon's going to let it bounce. He better let it go there. And he's going to be down around the 12 yard, 12, 13 yard line. So Goshen will have a have to start deep in their own territory as well here. First and 10, Goshen at their own, we'll see just a minute, 13 yard line. 229 to go until the halfway point of the ball game. Snap out of the shotgun set. Andrews has it. It's Merrick Andrews, and he's not going to get much, if anything, on that. He's going to pick up a few yards. Second and eight here for the Bulldogs, or, well, seven, because he looked like he got three. Second and seven for Goshen here. Goshen not taking no, not, 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 uh, not, uh, Taking, taking their time. They're not trying to hurry up here. Under two minutes to go. Shotgun set this time. Tight shotgun set here. And uh, McClendon has it. They're in a wildcat. And he's going to pick get about three or four or three or four there. Correction, that was a wildcat play. Not no uh, not no uh, what you call it. Third down for Goshen. Minute and a half to go till halftime here. Third and about, we'll say four or maybe five on the on the on here. And looks like they're gonna come out in that wild in the shotgun this time. Stamey has it. He was looking like he was gonna—he was gonna throw it. Now he's gonna run it, and he's gonna get the first down and get out of bounds. Up close to the 30-yard line here, and he's gonna get the first down. But it's gonna be 59 seconds on the clock here to go until halftime. Coming out in a tight shotgun set again this time here. Stamey keeps it. And he's going to pick up about five here. And there's a out of bounds here. 52 seconds left to play. This is the Friday Night Blitz on Troy Cable Channel 2. I am your host, Bulldog Johnny. Class of 20 of 2011, our t my 10-year class reunion was it was is this year guys just thought I'd bring that up since it was homecoming I just figured I'd bring that up all right here we go tight shotgun set again this time and Stamey's gonna keep it again he's gonna follow behind Andrews his running back and he's gonna get a couple more yards but he stays in bounds to keep the clock running And that, my friends, is going to be the end of the half. At the end of the first half, your score, the Goshen Eagles 15, the Pike County Bulldogs 13. Y'all stay tuned. 
to watch the Goshen Eagle Band and the Pike County Band perform at halftime, and we'll be right back. Come join the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama, Blue Cross Blue Shield, 401K. Oh, 401K, we match it up to 4%. We have a dental plan. We rolling at Wiley Sandals Truck Lines. When these wheels roll, you make money. Drive for the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Roll now and rock later. 4% of your retirement. We match the gross pay by 4% at Wiley Sandals Truck Lines. Roll now. And rock later, Wiley Sandals Strut Lines, Troy, Alabama. Sandy, you tell them. In the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, we've got what you're looking for. So come see us at Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC in Troy, and you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC. There's a place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged, fire and flavor come together, and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Come and see us at Southern Grill and Patio just off the square in Troy. Neil, I tell you what, man, thank you so much for letting me drive your brand new man, I'm glad, vehicle, man. I'm glad you nice. enjoyed it. Deer! Yeah, Neil, we've been deer friends a long time. I know we're deer friends, but deer! Good, good, let go! Man, where did it go? Neil, oh, my truck! Neil, I see a hoof. A hoof? Yeah. I'm worried about the deer. I'm worried about my truck, man. Well, we can go to All Star Collision. All Star Collision on 231 North. Call them 808 8822. Check out what Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply customers are saying. The best place for metal roofing materials. This company is amazing. Customer service was top notch. Best service in the industry. We've used them for years. Best place ever. The metal roofing headquarters in our area. Come see for yourself why customers choose Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply. Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply, your metal roofing headquarters.
Our wide selection of pre-owned vehicles look so good, you'll think they're new. So take the short drive to Bill Jackson Ford in Troy, where you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Ford, Troy, Alabama. Since 1959, the Commercial Bank of Ozark has been serving our community. It doesn't matter whether the times are good or bad, or if conditions are normal or different. The Commercial Bank of Ozark is here to serve you, your family, and your business. We make all our loan decisions locally, and we do it in a timely manner. Car, new home, home improvement, or business loans, the Commercial Bank of Ozark is here with the expertise and help for all your banking needs. Come join Wiley Sanders Truck Lines today. $1,000 sign on more. We match your 401k up to 4%. Blue Cross, Blue Shield. We also have a dental plan. You to be the next driver of the month. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. You're a certified mechanic looking for a job? Then come to Wiley Sanders Truck Line. That's right, Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We need good mechanics. Call John Smothers or Ken Bray for the maintenance department. You will have a future at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Wiley Sanders Truck Line has been in business since 1959, and we're steady getting bigger. I'm surrounded by new equipment. That's right, new equipment. And here's one that's ready to go at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We have Blue Cross, Blue Shield. We have a 401k. We can match your 401k up to 4% of your gross pay. If these tires roll at Wiley Sanders Truck Line, you make money. Ride the best, drive for the best. Wiley Sanders Truck Line, Troy, Alabama. is Malachi Everett. Are you ready? Tonight, the band is going to begin with high hopes from Patty and his school with trumpet solos, Brayden and Arnett.
When you think Troy Cable, think of a world-class network. Think of friendly local customer support experts. Think of reliable internet, phone, television, and security for your home or business. Most importantly, think of a hometown company connecting its community. Think fast. Think friendly. Think Troy Cable. From the class of 96, Miss Tamika Perry. From the class of 07, Ashley Kilpatrick. From the class of 1989, Miss Shannon Swerve. From the class of 2002, Miss Joanna Jackson. From the class of 1996, Mr. Camilo Williams. From the class of 1997, Ms. Carol Costo. From the class of 1992, Ms. Daniel Lampley. The class of 1996, Ms. Chantel Barrow. And the class of 1999, Ms. Candace Phillips King. When you think of Troy Cable, think of a world-class network. Think of friendly local customer support experts. Think of reliable internet, phone, television, and security for your home or business. Most importantly, think of a hometown company connecting its community. Think fast. Think friendly. Think Troy Cable. With a Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Get an incredible summer offer on a new Honda, only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. Come and see us at Southern Grill and Patio, just off the square in Troy. If you have $99, the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, pick out any pre-owned vehicle on our lot and pay just $99 down. Truckloads. Truckloads. Truckloads of vehicles are arriving daily. Put $99 down and drive home any vehicle you want. Prices as low as $29.95. Over 20 price 10000 and less. Can't beat it. $99 down and the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Troy. Or shop us online anytime at PremierTroy.com. Don't settle for slow internet in 2020. Everything is quicker when you think Troy Cable. With our state-of-the-art internet network, you can upload and download large files quickly. You'll bid buffering farewell when you stream your favorite movies, TV shows, and music. Enjoy local, friendly, and knowledgeable customer service when you need help. When you think internet, think Troy Cable.
Come join the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Blue Cross Blue Shield, 401k. Oh, 401k, we match it up to 4%. We have a dental plan. We rolling it, Wiley Sandals Truck Lines. When these wheels roll, you make money. Drive for the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Roll now and rock later. 4% of your retirement. We match the gross pay by 4% at Wiley Sandals Truck Lines. Roll now. And rock later, Wiley Sandals Strut Lines, Troy, Alabama. Sandy, you tell her. In the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle? We've got what you're looking for. So come see us at Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC in Troy, and you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC. There's a place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged. Fire and flavor come together, and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Come and see us at Southern Grill and Patio just off the square in Troy. Neil, I tell you what, man, thank you so much for letting me drive your brand new man, I'm glad vehicle, you, I'm man. I'm glad it's you nice. enjoy it. Yeah, Neil, we've been deer friends a long time. I know we're deer friends, but deer! Good, good, let go! Man, where did it go? Neil, oh, my truck! Neil, I see a hoof. A hoof? Yeah. I ain't worried about the deer. I'm worried about my truck, man. Well, we can go to All Star Collision. All Star Collision on 231 North. Call them 808 8822. Check out what Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply customers are saying. The best place for metal roofing materials. This company is amazing. Customer service was top notch. Best service in the industry. We've used them for years. Best place ever. The metal roofing headquarters in our area. Come see for yourself why customers choose Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply. Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply, your metal roofing headquarters. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, here at Bulldog Stadium getting ready for third quarter. It's Goshen 15, Pike County 13. We'll get some score updates. It's been a wild first quarter with both teams scoring. We got Brantley 46 to nothing over Georgiana at half. Greenville 6 nothing over Carroll. Elba 62 and Abbeville 6. You follow it as down 7 6 to the half to Carver. And the Ayrton Purple Cats lead Zion Chapel 35 0 at the half. We're getting ready for the second half to start. Kentavious Thomas and Janoris King back to receive here. And it looks like number two, Kentavian Carter, is going to go back too. Stamey to kick here. Let's see if he's going to kick it short like he's been at or if he's going to kick it a good, a good ways here. Whip kick, trying to onside kick, let it go. Out of bounds, it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be first and 10, Pike County, they're on 40 here. Big crowd on both sides here tonight, I tell you. It's homecoming at Pike County, so everybody's got to, uh, got to come back. We uh, hope you enjoyed the halftime show of the of the uh, Goshen Eagle Band and the Pike County Band. And the alumni cheerleaders done a cheer as well from all over the years. Next week right here at Bulldog Stadium will be the final home game of the season for the Bulldogs as they take on the Childersburg Tigers. Tight eye formation here. Here's, and it's Patterson to the bottom of your screen. Here we go. King again at quarterback now. 
and he's going to throw. Throwing. Kentavian Carter got it, but he's not going to get. He's going to lose yards. That was a little dump off route right there. Bang up! It got it got three yards. It's gonna bring up second and seven for Goshen here. For up Pike County, excuse me. Why I said that I don't know. Pike County now gonna spread them out too wide to either side here. Pike County going with a little different look here. Let's see now. There goes Carter in motion. Speed sweep. Carter hesitates and stops. He should have kept going, but he hesitated and stopped and going to lose a couple yards. That's going to bring up third and nine at the 41-yard line. As it was stated earlier by the PA announcer, it is the first annual Bazell Bowl. They're going to go a same set again. Two wide to either side. Twin wide outs either side here. Out of the A set, and King breaks tackles. He's going to be close. He is going to be close, I tell you that right now. Let's see what he gets. Let's see if they give him, give him the spot or if he's going to be short. He's going to be about an inch or two short, so it's going to be fourth and inches here. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if they go for it, do like a quarterback sneak and let the guy point it up toward the field here. Ten, right at the 10 minute mark, it's 15-13 Goshen here to start the third quarter. Single back set this time now. Ace formation, too wide either side. King takes it, he tries to, he's gonna cut back. And he's going to get a first down, but there's a flag on the play, and I believe that's going to be a hold. That's going to be a hold. Blocking the back against the Bulldogs here is correction. And that's going to bring a 15-yard penalty, and that's going to back them way up. And now they're going to have to punt the ball away instead of going for it. Janoris King had it, but if he hadn't have blocked him in the back, he would have had that first down. Fourth down now, and the Bulldogs are going for it, ladies and gentlemen. They got trips to the top of your screen here in the shotgun set this time. Went for a screen pass, but King takes it down and runs it, and he ain't going to get it. He ain't going to get it, and Goshen's going to get it first and 10 inside Pike County territory. Ball will be at the 39. It's going to be first and 10 for Goshen at the 39 of Pike County. Correction, Pike County is going to have it. It was second down. That's right. It was. It never. It was. wasn't fourth down. Excuse me. Trips to the bottom of your screen here. Single back set. Toss play out to Thomas, and he's not going to get it. Fumble, and I believe the Eagles have it. And the Eagles have the fumble here. Kentavious Thomas fumbles. And it looks like number 28 for Goshen. Leon Cowart with the fumble recovery. And it's going to be first and 10 Goshen now at the Pike County 37.
trips to the top of your screen. Lineman lives a decoy, catch it. Oh, he almost caught it for a big first down. He was going to Tyler McClendon there, and he almost picked up a first down. The, the defensive lineman, number 66, was acting as a decoy, and that is We don't have that number on here, number 66. But he was acting as a decoy to try to get the defense to bite on that play, and the defense did not bite. Shotgun set, too wide to the bottom of your screen now. Andrews, and Zamerick Andrews has it. Flag is down on the play, and he's going to have his first down, but I think it's coming back. I believe it's coming back. And the quarterback for Goshen just tried to pick the flag up, and the referee told him to put it back down. Holding against the Eagles, and that's going to bring them, bag them back 10 yards. That's a big no-no in football, not to pick up the flag for an official. So the ball will be at the 47 of Goshen now, a 10-yard march off, and they're going to be right back at it again here. Two to the bottom of your screen, shotgun set here. One to the top of your screen. Andrews gets a little cutback route, and he's got room, and he has got big room. He's pushing and still going to get a first down here. So Merrick Andrews gets a first down around to the 24-yard line. That's going to be a big first down for the Eagles here. And now the clock will start to wind here. Pistol set for Goshen here. Hands it off. Andrews again. And this time he's breaking free again, and he's going to get another first down. Here we go now, they're going five wide here. McClendon in the backfield here. And there's going to be a false start on Andrews there. And here's the and here's gonna be brought no sir Reed's going not gonna get anything. McClendon's gonna get eight up in the backfield there. And that's gonna be a loss of about two or three yards here. Second and about 15 here for the for the Eagles. Shotgun set again this time. We got two to the bottom, one to the top of your screen. McClendon's up to the top of your screen here. Here's a snap, and it's an option route, and he's not getting anything. And it's a fumble, but he's going. They're going to say he was down, and number two, Kentavian Carter, on the tackle, the freshman, and we have a timeout right here. Let's
our wide selection of pre-owned vehicles look so good, you'll think they're new. So take the short drive to Bill Jackson Ford in Troy, where you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Ford, Troy, Alabama. Since 1959, the Commercial Bank of Ozark has been serving our community. It doesn't matter whether the times are good or bad, or if conditions are normal or different. The Commercial Bank of Ozark is here to serve you, your family, and your business. We make all our loan decisions locally, and we do it in a timely manner. Car, new home, home improvement, or business loans, the Commercial Bank of Ozark is here with the expertise and help for all your banking needs. And we are back here to resume play. 5.36 to play, and it's 15.13 here for the Goshen Eagles. Goshen going to come out now with trips to the top of your screen here in a shotgun set. This time they got Bristow in the backfield. It's not, not a different guy in the backfield. Number 28. And Stamey rolls out. He fires. And it's incomplete intended for Andrew Galloway. That's the second time he's throwed that pass to Galloway and that's the second time he's bobbled it. He bobbled it down in the in the north in the south end zone on the south sideline earlier in the game and now he does it again. So it's third down, fourth down and 15 correction. The light is shining on the down marker and I can't hardly tell what the down marker says. So Y'all just got to be patient with me. If I mess it up, I just, I can't, I can't I'm sorry. A closer game than I expected, and it's more points than I expected it to be, too. I figured it would be a 7-6 ball game, but I was I was greatly fooled on that. Goshen now comes out this time. Trips to the top. Stamey in the backfield. Bristow to the bottom of your screen. Here's a snap. Stamey dropping back. Going deep for Bristow, and it's incomplete. And they're going to call a flag. They're going to call a flag right there. They're going to call pass interference right there. They are going to call pass interference right there. Let's check a replay of that, shall we? And see what happens there with that. Did he actually, if he was actually on there with the, the uh, it does look like that a little bit that he did have it, so it's they're discussing the penalty here. He's going over to the line judge. Disregard the flag, and it's going to be a turnover on downs. Pike County will get the football first and ten at their own. 17-yard line, it appears, or 18-yard line. Make that the 18-yard line. See what Pike County will do here with the ball now. They're going to spread it out. Twin wide outs to either side here out of the shotgun set you got. Number 12 in the backfield, that's Ben Patterson, the brother of Antonio Patterson. And you got Janars King at quarterback. Here's the snap. Keeper. And King is going to pick up a couple here. Brings up, brings up three yards. is going to be second and seven. He's looking like he's at the 21-yard line. He's at the 21-yard line. It'll be first, second and seven for the, Bull, for the Bulldogs. 4.45 and counting to play in the third quarter. No score thus far. Trip wide out to the top of your screen here. King to throw. 
Screen pass to Thomas, and they're going to eat that up in the backfield. He got nothing on that one. Number 13, Samaric Andrews, ate that screen up in the backfield before it even got started. And it's going to bring up third. And third down for the Bulldogs at their own 19-yard line. They're going back to the tight eye formation again this time. Ben Patterson to the top of your screen here. And we have a flag. Delay a game on the offense. That's going to back them up another five yards and make it third and that much, even that, mu that much longer. Ball at the 14 yard line now. Tight eye formation again this time with Thomas in the backfield. Here's a snap, toss play to Patterson. I meant to, to uh, Thomas, and Thomas ain't gonna get nothing. He not, I think he might have lost the yard. And I tell you what, Pike County needs to take a uh, take a shot down the field. My gracious, quit with all this running and uh and uh, other stuff. My gracious, quit with the screen plays and uh. And the toss plays, throw it deep downfield for crying out loud. And it's going to be fourth down, and King is going to be punting it, and Tyler McClendon is back to receive. King got a good punt the last time he had it. We got a flag. Legal hands to the face, I think, is going to be on uh, on Goshen. Bring up fourth down for the Bulldogs. Still, he gets it back to the 19. King to punt it, and standing back at, it at midfield is McClendon. Here's a kick. Good. Not too good of a kick. And it's going to roll, and it's going to take a roll at the 33-yard line here. Not a very good punt from Janaris King there, and Goshen will start first and 10 at the Pike County 33-yard line. 2.19 to play, third quarter. Goshen now bringing trips to the bottom of your screen here. Shotgun set. Here's the snap. He throws it. It's McClendon, and he makes the catch. What a catch by Tyler McClendon there. I thought for a moment he, he had dropped it, but he sure he brought it in for, for, for a, a completion. And it's going to be first and 10, Goshen at the Pike County, 16. Tight shotgun set right here for the, and they going to get number 66. They're going to get the Goshen guy for jumping off size, number 66. It's going to be an illegal procedure against Goshen, and that's going to bring up. Still re repeats the down, a first down at the 21. That just backs them up five yards.
tight, tight shotgun formation here this time. Stamey tosses it with a little uh, play to McClendon, and he's going to get back to work to the, the yards he lost on that flag. It's going to be second down and, and six at the 15-yard line. Trinity leads Dadeville 28 to nothing. Ariton still on a 35 nothing spree on uh, Zion Chapel, and that's the score updates we have right now. Tw trip wide outs, and it's going to be McClendon taking it, and he is leveled by Janoris King. And that's going to be the end of your third quarter. We your score, Goshen 15, Pike County 13. We'll be right back after these messages. Come join Wireless Sanders Truck Lines today. $1,000 sign on both. We match your 401k up to 4%. Blue Cross, Blue Shield. We also have a dinner plan. You to be the next driver of the month. Wireless Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. If you're a certified mechanic looking for a job, then come to Wiley Sanders Truck Line. That's right, Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We need good mechanics. Call John Smothers or Ken Bray for the maintenance department. You will have a future at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. Wiley Sanders Truck Line has been in business since 1959, and we're steady getting bigger. I'm surrounded by new equipment. That's right, new equipment. Here's one that's ready to go at Wiley Sanders Truck Line. We have Blue Power, Blue Shield. We have a 401k. We can match your 401k up to 4% of your gross pay. If these tires roll at Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, you make money. Ride the best, drive for the best. Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. When you think Troy Cable, think of a world-class network. Think of friendly local customer support experts. Think of reliable internet, phone, television, and security for your home or business. Most importantly, think of a hometown company connecting its community. Think fast, think friendly, think Troy Cable. And we're back here now. Pistol set this time. Twin White House to the top, one to the bottom. McClendon to the bottom of your screen. There goes Galloway in motion. And he throws, and he went to Galloway. And I think he caught it. Let's see what they do. Flag is on, looks like on Goshen here. Must have been on a false start or something because they're backing them up five yards. Here comes the referee's official decision here. Now he's going to, he was writing it down on his notepad there, but now they're going to start the clock here to start the play back. 16 yard line for Goshen now. They're going with a five wide set. McClendon in the backfield here. Better be careful of this because he might take it on this play and run it. He has done it tonight a few times. And we've got a false start on Goshen as one of them flinched. McClendon with a hard count. And it's going to be a legal procedure. And Realtown, who plays Pike County in two weeks, defeats Beulah 48 to 7. And that's going to back up Goshen. I mean, Goshen another five yards, be third and now very long here. They have to get inside the 10, almost to the five yard line for a first down. Pistol set this time, trips to the top of your screen. 
Looks like Andrews in the backfield here. It is Merrick Andrews. Now they're going to switch to the shotgun set at Audible. Stamey gets the snap. Rolls to his right. He fires. Incomplete intended for. That is number 24, Cadavian Bristow. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And Goshen will go for it here on fourth down. Fourth down, 53 seconds off the clock. It's 11.07 to play in the ball game. Here's a snap, Stamey. A little halfback pass to Andrews, and he ain't going to get nothing. He is going to be stopped, and Pike County will take over. First and 10 at their own 20, maybe 21-yard line. First and 10, Pike County at the 20 here. So let's see what they do here. As they've got 10.51 to try to score and put this thing and put it to a to a closer ball game than people think. To make it a four point or five point ball game. All right, they're spreading it out. Two wide either side here. Shotgun set. Looks like Patterson is the Ben Patterson is gonna now he's gonna motion out as a receiver here. King takes it and he gets up the middle. And he's got room, he's got room, he's gonna get his first down and more. And he's still going. And he's gonna be brought down after a big first down. He almost got 15, I think he got to almost close to 20 yards on one. He got almost 20 yards on that, and I had to give him credit, give him credit on that. Boy, he was, pow he was powering them legs. First down, Bulldogs. They're going to get it around the 39-yard line, it appears. Pike County yet to attempt a deep pass down the field. They have thrown a couple of passes. They, they were screen passes, but they, but they didn't do anything, so... Let's see what they come out with here now. They're going to go too wide either side once again now, spreading it out. And we've got a flag here. We're going to have a false start on the offense. Delay a game against the Bulldogs here, and that's going to be another five yards and back them up and replay the first down. And King coming back here to the sideline. I reckon to get that he's gonna get his play here. Pike County shooting their own self in the foot here by going backwards. They need to be trying to go forward to move the ball forward to get to the first to the first down line. Now they switch up and put Thomas at uh, slot position in. Reynolds in the backfield, and he throwing deep, throwing deep, overthrow to Kentavious Thomas, and boy, he was wide open right there. Just out, overstepped it a little bit. We've got a flag on the play, though, right at the line of scrimmage. Boy, that was a pretty one, I tell you. He went right up the middle of the field. And he almost makes the catch there, but it would have been negated if he had scored a touchdown because it's a flag on Pike County. It would have been negated. And now I would try that same play again if I was Pike County here to try to see if I could catch him napping again here. Back at the 29-yard line. It's going to be... First and very, very long here. Now they're going with eye formation here. And a wide out to either side here. 
Flag again. False start against the offense here, and that's going to be another five yards. It's going to be first and even longer now. It's probably first and about 20, if not close to 25 yards for the first down here. First and long for the Bulldogs here. Let's see if they go back to what they were doing with that with that, with that one receiver to either side once again here. We'll have to see how they do how they do this here. Tight eye formation again this time now. And he's going to hand it to Thomas. And Thomas breaks free. He breaks free. He's got one man to beat. And he's going to get his first down. Kentavious Thomas, the senior, making waves. And he going to blast it up the middle. And it's at the 49-yard line of Goshen. It's going to be first and 10, Pike County. So he got all of those yards back that they lost on that one gap. As we like to call that, that was a gash play right there. He gashed him for some big yards there. And now they got King in at quarterback with tight eye formation again this time here. King fumbles it, picks it up, going to the outside. There's a flag. And he takes a crushing hit over on the Goshen side of the field, but there's a flag down, so you can expect this to come back. Flag is on Pike County, and that's going to back them up some more. It's 8.33 to go here. Pike County trails by two. The last time they trailed by two was in the game against Beulah here at Pike County where they lost 14-12. They got the tight eye formation again this time. Hands it off to Thomas. He cuts to the outside, and he don't get it. He's going to get maybe an uh, a inch or two, if that. Bulldogs are fighting though. They're gonna, they're gonna try, they're gonna do their hardest to try to win their first game of the season here. Either one of these teams wins tonight is gonna get their first win. Patterson down to the bottom of your screen now. Here's a snap, toss play. Ooh! And Kentavian Carter laid a good hit, and Thomas laid another good hit. And he's gonna get back over the original line of scrimmage, over midfield to about the 46 yard line is where it looks to, uh, appears to be where the line judge is spotting at the 46. <laughs> 46 yard line here. 7.29 to play, 15-13 your score here. This is one of those, as I was coined the, 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 the steal of, I'm gonna steal the phrase from Jim Ross, this is a slobber knocker of a game right here. Tight, eye formation again this time. Tosses out to Thomas again. He's got another, and he's gonna be stood up and hit hard by a Goshen player. Number 54, Mace Brooks leveled him at the line of scrimmage. Bring up third down, fourth down for the Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs are gonna be forced to punt it away here to Goshen. And Goshen, when they get the ball back here, I would, I would, I would, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to take all six minutes and whatever's left on the clock off to try to run this clock out. I 
Here's the punt now. McClendon back around his own 10-yard line. Here's the kick from King, and it's a good one. It's a good one. It's inside the 20 and out at the 12-yard line here. First and 10, Goshen at the 10 at the 12-yard line. That was that was a good punt there by King. If he'd have got it just a little bit more, he might have could have got it to a roll a little further. But he got it got the friendly roll as they call it, and it's first and ten Goshen with 6:13 to go in the ball game. Every possession from here on out matters in a game of this, of this magnitude and it being this close. We got a timeout, Goshen. 6.13 to play in the game. Goshen leads by two. We'll take a short break on the Friday Night Blitz and be right back. With a Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Get an incredible summer offer on a new Honda, only at the Honda Summer Sales Event. Ready, set, go. Southern Grill and Patio just off the square in Troy. If you and we're back here with 613 on the clock. Goshen had to call timeout. Greenville 14 0 over Carroll in the third quarter of that game. So now shotgun set this time for Stamey. Andrew's back there with him and he's gonna take it. He's gonna cut around to the outside. And he's gonna be brought down by Pat by Ben Patterson, number seven. He got Maybe a couple yards. Play brings up second down. The Elba Tigers are, are taking it to the Abbeville Yellow Jackets 62 to 14. And don't be surprised next week with that Ayrton and Abbeville and Ayrton and Elba game next week. That's gonna be a barn burner of a ball game for first place in that region. Trips to the bottom of your screen here. They got five wide here. Stamey back there by himself. Where is that McClendon? It's Tyler McClendon and he takes it and there's gonna be a flag and he's gonna be brought down by number three, Virgil Thompson. That's his first time getting a, on, in on a play tonight. Holding against the Eagles, and that's going to bring it 10 yards, put it 10 yards back, and that's just putting Goshen further and further back. Now if they try to run here, Pike County should try at least to try to, try to force Goshen in, into a safety here. They have to. Holding against Goshen. A safety would tie this game at 15. Neither team backing down here in this ball game. Shotgun set, too wide at the top of your screen here. McClendon down at the bottom. There goes Andrews, and he takes it up the middle, and he's, he's close to his first down, but I don't think he got that. Going to bring up fourth down. It's going to be fourth. And a, and about a and about a about a couple inches here we'll call it. And if 430 and counting to go in the ball game here, this could be if Pike County gets the ball back here, this could be their last chance. But Goshen is going for it here. 
take correction. They're going to punt it. They got in, they got Andrew Galloway back. Pike County has nobody back deep for this punt here. Here's the kick, and it's a high, sky high kick. And it's going to bounce out at the 45 yard line, and Pike County will get it first and 10 at their own 40, at the Goshen 45, with 4.07 to go. This right here could be Pike County's last chance with the football on the night. Let's see what they do right here. Pike County has to have a score here if they hope to put the pressure on Goshen to try to score and win it. Tight eye formation here for Pike County. And they got Patterson, I believe, down to the bottom of your screen, or that may be Thompson. You can't really tell. Looks like Virgil Thompson, number three. Oh, it's number seven, Patterson, excuse me. Here's the snap. Play action. Over the overthrow, Virgil Thompson there. Off balance throw. It was a play action pass, and it was off balance throw for Janoris King, and that's going to bring up second down and 10 here for the Bulldogs. Ball there on 45. 4.01 to go. And goes Contavious Thomas now. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if Contavious Thomas gets it right here and tries to take it. Bulldogs were too wide to either side now. It's like Thomas is down at the bottom of your screen here. King gets it, dropping back. He throwing deep, throwing deep, and it's intercepted. No, almost intercepted by Andrew Galloway. It was uh, it was intended for number eight, Marsavia Reynolds. And boy, I tell you what, woo woo, that almost like to bend the ball game right there. Third down. And ladies and gentlemen, Pike County should be a more balanced type team. If they were more of a balanced type team and kept, and kept Goshen on their heels, they would be having more success in the passing game. But when you run the ball all the time and be one dimensional, it's hard to throw the football. They need to be a They need to balance it out. Tight eye formation here now. And they gonna probably go to Thomas on this with a toss play. And what did I tell you, a toss play. And it's Thomas. And he's he going to get anything? No, he ain't going to get there. But it's inside of the 39-yard line, and I'm all think, and I would think Pike County would go for it here, with 3:40 and counting in the ball game here. This is Pike County's last shot right here. And I think Fred Holland is going to call timeout. And they are. Timeout, Bulldogs, 325 to play. We'll be right back on the Friday Night Blitz. If you have $99, the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, pick out any pre-owned vehicle on our lot and pay just $99 down. Truckloads. Truck, truckloads. Truckloads of vehicles are arriving daily. Put $99 down and drive home any vehicle you want. Prices as low as $29.95. Over $20, price $10,000 and less. Can't beat it. $99 down and the deal is done. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Troy. Or shop us online anytime at PremierTroy.com. Don't settle for slow internet in 2020. Everything is quicker when you think Troy Cable. With our state-of-the-art internet network, you can upload and download large files quickly. You'll bid buffering farewell when you stream your favorite movies, TV shows, and music. Enjoy local, friendly, and knowledgeable customer service when you need help. When you think internet, think Troy Cable. 
Come join the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama, Blue Cross Blue Shield, 401k. Oh, 401k, we match it up to 4%. We have a dental plan. We rolling at Wiley Sandals Truck Line. When these wheels roll, you make money. Drive for the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Roll now and rock later. 4% of your retirement. We match the gross pay by 4% at Wiley Sandals Truck Line. Roll now. And rock later, Wiley Sandals Strut Lines, Troy, Alabama. Sandy, you tell her. And we're back, and he tosses out to Reynolds again. I meant to Thomas, and he don't get it, and that could be your lay in the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. That will be the ball game. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, just may do it. Turnover on downs would be Goshen ball here, and Goshen can now run the clock here and go away with our first win of the season if it holds unless something dramatic happens Goshen will pick up their first win of the season and Pike County will fall to 0 and 6 Coming out in the shotgun set again this time. You got Thomas as the lone safety here, and he hands it off to Andrews, and there he goes. And he's fighting and fighting, and he's going to pick up about four there. He didn't get half of the half of it, but he got close to four yards, to five yards. He got four. It'll be second and six for the Eagles here. As a reminder, one more time, Pike County will be back here, right here, next Friday night against the Childersburg Tigers for senior night. So come out and be a part of the ball game. You have to purchase your tickets on GoFan. All right, shotgun set this time here. Hands it to Andrews again, and he comes to the outside. And he's going to get the first down. Picks up an eagle first down inside Pike County Territory at the 42-yard line. Give both teams a lot of credit. They have come out here, and they have been firing on all cylinders. It's been a nip and tuck ball game. It's been like a 15-round heavyweight fight, back and forth, back and forth. But who's gonna? But the question is, who wants it the most is the question. Hands it off to Andrews here. And he's going to get another first down, or he's actually uh, awful close. Ball at the 34-yard line, second down. And under two to go here, and this is going to be, this is it right here. Goshen running out this clock here, shotgun set this time. Hands it off, and it's Andrews, and he's pounding his way, and he's going to get a first down and more. One thirty to play in the ball game now, and here we go. Unless Pike County can come up with some kind of stop defensively, they will not see the football again. Goshen just taking their time, letting this clock eat, eat away here. If they happen to hold Goshen to fourth down, and they're leaving Pike County less and less time to drive down the field. Stamey better hurry up. He's got, I don't know how much time he's got. Play clock is not working. Snap. Hands it off. Andrews again now. He's going to be stopped quickly, but there's a flag on the play. 52 seconds to play. And it's number 55, Ama Armani Brown with the tackle on him there. Holding against the Eagles. A 10-yard penalty, and that's going to back it up. And it's now going to be 
First down, I believe. I believe it's first down. First and long at the 40 yard line here. Flag on the play here. Timeout. Pike County here. Timeout, Pike County. 52 seconds to go, and we will take it with them. We'll be right back. Come join the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Blue Cross Blue Shield, 401K. Oh, 401K, we match it up to 4%. We have a dental plan. We rolling at Wiley Sandals Truck Lines. When these wheels roll, you make money. Drive for the best today. Wiley Sandals Truck Lines, Troy, Alabama. Roll now and rock later. 4% of your retirement. We match the gross pay by 4% at Wiley Sandals Truck Lines. Roll now. And rock later, Wiley Sandals Strut Lines, Troy, Alabama. Sandy, you tell them. In the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, we've got what you're looking for. So come see us at Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC in Troy, and you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC. There's a, pl there's a place. And we're back here with 52 ticks on the clock to go here. And it's a... Been a barn burner of a game. Goshen has it here. Second down. Tight shotgun set here. Stamey takes it. He's going to run it, and he's going to be not gaining. He got not even going to get. He's going to lose a couple, but he goes out of bounds. At the 41-yard line, he was out of bounds, and the clock still runs here. Timeout, Pike County. And we'll take it with them. We'll be right back on the Friday Night Blitz. There's a place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged. Fire and flavor come together. And new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Come and see us at Southern Grill and Patio just off the square in Troy. Neil, I tell you what, man, thank you so much for letting me drive your brand new man, I'm glad vehicle, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Deer! Yeah, Neil, we've been deer friends a long time. I know we're deer friends, but deer! Good googly go! Hey, where did it go? Neil, my truck! Neil, I see a hoof. A hoof? Yeah. I ain't worried about the deer. I'm worried about my truck, man. Well, we can go to All-Star Collision. All-Star Collision on 231 North. Call them, 808-8822. And we're back here at Bulldog Stadium where the Goshen Eagles are about 40 seconds away from wrapping up their first win of the season here. And they're going to get in the victory formation here. Pike County, I don't think, has any more timeouts. It cannot stop the clock. Stamey gets it. And he's going to take a knee here. Fourth down for the Goshen Eagles now. And there's going to be the times running down. Pike County will not get the ball back again. Goshen had to snap it probably one more time, and that would end the ball game here. 
as I said before, for those of y'all that are just joining us, it's been a back and forth ball game. Pike County scored on the first play of the game, 41 yard touchdown run by Thomas. And then Goshen went down and answered them. You got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that, my friends, will do it. The Goshen Eagles pick up their first win of the season. They defeat the Pike County Bulldogs in Brundage by a final score of 15 to 13. Pike County falls to 0 and 6. They'll be back here next week for senior night as they'll be playing the Childersburg Tigers. And I tell you what, my thoughts on this was that Pike County played their hearts out, but in the end it was just too much for them as Goshen takes the game, gets their first win. So for TC2 and everybody back at Troy Cable, we want to say so long, and we'll see you next time on the Friday Night Blitz. Check out what Baker Metalworks and Dixie Supply customers are saying. The best place for metal roofing materials. This company is amazing.